Welcome to Old Guy Gaming Network and a updated video on using the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Google Maps replacement tool. Uh, the tool itself has undergone uh, quite a few updates since I originally made my video and I'm still getting a lot of questions on how to install it so I figured I'd take you know create a new video and go right from the beginning, uh, you know, downloading, installing, configuring, and using it, uh, and what to expect. Now, before you do anything, go ahead and log into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, go to your data section, go down to your rolling cache, turn that off, and delete your rolling cache file. This can interfere with the Google Maps replacement tool. Uh, and cause unpredictable results. So go ahead and do that before you you do absolutely anything else. Now, another thing, this is sort of off the beaten path, but um, you know, anytime Microsoft does any kind of updates and everything, uh, make sure you go to your content manager and check to see if there's updates. Uh, you know, I looked at mine and I had oh got quite a bit of stuff that had updates you know over six gigabytes worth of data so don't forget to do that now uh the google maps replacement tool you're just going to go to flightsim.to you're going to go down we are at current version 3.07 you're going to go ahead and download that uh, to your computer uh, once you download it You want to take that and you want to extract it to a folder of your choice. Uh, on one of my drives, I just created a, uh, I just created a folder called Mike or Google Maps replacement tool. And I went ahead and extracted it there. Now that will create. There's the little install program. Now you'll go ahead and run that install program. Figure you know I installed it to the same directory, and there's everything that you need. Now you'll scroll down to the application and you'll go ahead and start it. Okay, you'll get a pop-up window and then that uh, the Google Maps replacement tool has a brand new front end. Uh, now, the very first time you run this, you're gonna get a pop-up certificate, you know, uh, or a pop-up window wanting to add a certificate to the security system. Go ahead and accept that. Uh, make, make sure you run this app before you run Microsoft Flight Simulator. You click the little button called Inject Google Maps, and it will start to log on to the Google Maps servers. Once you get the two check marks, uh, you are good to go. Uh, the mod is ready uh, to work. Now, at that point, you're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Flight Simulator as normal, pick a place, and start flying. It's as easy as that. Now, when you're done, if you just click that button again, it'll go back to Bing Maps. So you can turn this mod on or off anytime you choose. It's really as simple as that. It can't be any easier. Now, let's take a look at what we can expect with the Google Maps replacement tool. Now, Google Maps is on the right. The typical Bing Maps is on the left. I'm flying over uh, where I live called Frederick, Maryland. I'm flying up 15 North and there's a new on-ramp. You see it up there on the right called Christopher Crossing. In the default Bing Maps, it's not there. Now what's funny is when you overfly it, you'll see cars like driving through the field. The simulator knows that, um, the simulator knows that that interchange is there now. Uh, but the, like I said, Bing Maps is, you know, the imagery over Frederick, Maryland is too old uh, and it's not included. Now, another thing I want you to look at is look at the colors of the roads. The default Bing Maps, the roads have like a greenish tinge to them. And that's kind of irritating. And the one thing I love about Google Maps is it has the correct, you know, colors uh, for the roads. They look like asphalt. They're much more detailed. Now, there's also quite a bit of, you know, new construction around Christopher Crossing that doesn't show up in the Bing Maps.
Yeah, so you can yeah you can see the cars like driving in the field right there. It's pretty funny. And then you can see the old connection to 15 right there that's closed off in the Google Maps, but you can still see it's still actively connected to 15 South. Now, if you look right off to basically at the top of the screen there, you'll see the big brown area where there's buildings being constructed there, the Google Maps. All that construction's complete. The parking lot infrastructure and all that stuff has been added. Uh, it is a, you know, much more realistic representation of uh, where I live. So yeah, if I'm flying around uh, Frederick, Maryland, I'm always going to be using uh, Google Maps. Uh, you know, I know the details are subtle, uh, but you know, it makes a big difference in realism. Now, I get a lot of people who ask me about, well, what about performance hit? Is there any kind of performance hit that you notice? I do not notice any drop in uh, FPS at all. It's just a you know, a satellite image, you know, that doesn't require um, a lot of uh, processing power. So, yeah, I don't notice any drop in FPS while using Google Maps. Now, the second area here, this is a great example of both color correction and detail that you get with the Google Maps on the right versus the default Bing Maps on the left. Uh, I'm flying up to uh, the mountain fortress of Masada in Israel uh, off the Dead Sea. Now, the Google Maps side, you know, it is, to me, clearly much more uh, color correct and accurate for a desert environment versus the, you know, the washed out yellowy the imagery of the Bing maps. Now, as we get up to Masada, the, there's a lot of, like I said, subtle details that you just don't see in the Bing maps. But yeah, I mean, the, when you're looking down, you can see all the wadis, you know, all in much better detail than you do with the Bing Maps. Now we're coming up on the remains of the encirclement wall the Romans built around Masada to keep the Jews from escaping. It's crazy that, you know, 2,000 years later, you know, those, uh, those ruins, you know, of that encirclement uh, wall can still be seen clear as day. Yeah, I guess in the desert things just don't change that much. Now one of the things I do like is, you know, when the Google imagery was taken, uh, you can see a large shadow being cast off Masada. Uh, some people will like it, some people won't, because you know, because that shadow is part of the image, doesn't matter where the sun position is in the simulator, that shadow coming off Masada is going to always be there. I like it just because it adds almost like a quasi 3D effect on a monitor. It, when you're when you're flying and you're looking at it, it Masada there actually kind of looks like a 3D object. It, you'll have to try it for yourself. You'll understand what I'm saying. Whereas the the Bing map just looks like a flat image. Now you can actually see the ru uh, the ruins of the Roman ramp. They built a ramp to push a huge battering ram right up to the walls. And that's how they wound up breaching Masada. You know, in Bing Maps, it's once again, you can see, you know, the slope of the sides coming off the ramp much more detailed, whereas it's just a white line on the Bing Map. And so, whereas in, you know, the Google, it looks 3D. And then you can see, you know, wall drop off and much more detail in the Google Maps replacement tool uh, than, like I said, the bland details that you see in the Bing Maps. You've got shadows coming off the mountains on the other side. 
once again, some people won't like it because, you know, they never move, uh, you know, according to sun position. But, you know, once again, it, it gives it a more of a three-dimensional feel to it when you're looking at it versus just the, you know, the really subpar looking Bing Maps section. I mean, this is like one of the most dramatic differences in, you know, satellite imagery that I, you know, that I've come across. And it, I mean, there's really absolutely no difference. I mean, no uh, comparison between Bing and Google. Now, you can actually see the Google Maps as you're flying. You can see it downloading data packets as you're going through and you see it filling in over there. Now, you know, that's another thing that, you know, the longer you're flying in the area and the more you know, the better the map detail will become as it continues to download data. Now, the last place I chose to pick was Tombstone, Arizona. Once again, a, you know, kind of out of the way place the look at the color correction though the the bing maps on the left you know it just it doesn't look right to me it, you know it looks washed out or whatever but you know on the google maps it just looks so much better and then when you look at the definition of the streets in the buildings in the two places once again it, there's literally no comparison between the subpar imagery on the Bing maps and you know, the much sharper and color corrected uh, images that you get through the Google Maps replacement tool. Again, you know, I do not get any performance degradation using the Google Maps uh, replacement tool that I notice um, because like I said, it's just a 2D image. Uh, that it's processing does not take much computer processing power at all. Well, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this updated video. If you've had any issues uh, with the Google Maps replacement tool, hopefully this will guide you uh, all the way from downloading installation to using it. Um, please leave your comments below. And if you would, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a you know relatively new YouTuber. Uh, kind of new to the game, so I'm trying to grow my channel. So please, like I said, like and subscribe and you know, leave your comments. If you, you know, look at my old video on this, I love, you know, talking with people, you know, about uh, my videos and things like that. So uh, until next time, have a wonderful day.